Minerva and today I'm sharing with you my top 10 bag making patterns. Now there are such a variety to choose from so here I am sharing a selection that are perfect for all occasions. Now when you spot one that you love all the links are listed below so all you have to do is click on that link. So first up we have a classic tote style bag with the simplicity 8310. Now as you can see it's large and roomy, it has pockets, an internal pocket, a zip fastening and long shoulder straps. I think this one would be perfect for an everyday bag, a travel bag or maybe transporting your kit to the gym. Why not make it in a lightweight denim, a canvas, a broadcloth or a heavy cotton. So a beautiful classic shape there. Another large tote similar in style is a Simplicity 8709. Why not play around with contrasting prints, stripes, spots, checks, you can really have fun here and really make this bag unique and your own. Version A has a softer look, while version B has a long shoulder strap and central straps also. Ideal for carrying around everything you need day to day. Again, why not make it in a calico, a canvas, a denim or a heavy duty cotton? Now, if a smaller bag suits your needs, then Simplicity 8356 could be for you. Here we have six styles to choose from. So we have small and neat for card and phone. We have a compact shoulder bag, a more casual version for days out, maybe going to the beach, and again a tote bag with a button down fastening. So lots of versions to try out as your skills progress. Why not go for a linen, a batik, a twill or a burlap? Perhaps you are new to bag making and would like to try something simple. Well Birda 6688 is a good place to start. It has drawstring straps and a nice basic shape. So you could have the details here with embellishments such as fringes, trims, motifs, applique. Why not check out our large selection of trims here at Minerva to really make this bag something special. I think it's perfect for dance shoes, going to the beach, pee kits. It's a really lovely simple shape and one that you can have fun with adding your own personal touches. Maybe you're looking for storage solutions, maybe to store all your craft projects and materials. Well these next three patterns are for you. First of all, we have the Simplicity S8859. With this pattern, you have the option of storage bins, pouches, a bag and a roll. The bins could be used for storing fabrics and knitting supplies. Maybe use the bag for ongoing projects. Get your supplies up off the floor with these handy hooks on these pouches here. And I think this roll would be ideal for gift making. Again, use denim, twill, calico, maybe chintz fabrics for the linings. You can have lots of fun playing around with this pattern as there are so many possibilities. Or choose simplicity 8107. Here we have the choice of storage bins or boxes and I think these boxes are ideal for storing patterns 
that's what I use them for. And you can use faux leather on the handles, canvas, calico, ticking, broadcloth, contrasting prints for the lining that shows here and it folds back on the boxes. Beautiful storage solutions and these will really brighten up your craft area or they can be used for bathrooms for storing toiletries and towels. So another really versatile little pattern this one. Suitable for home and school we have the Birder style 6493. Here we have the choice of making the pencil case, a travel bag, a small storage box or an accessory roll. Now I think this pattern is lovely and simple and ideal for gift making. Also the pattern in itself could be a gift. Do you know a beginner sewer? You could pair it with a few materials, some embellishments, pop it all together with the pattern and you're set. I would have loved that when I was just starting out so I think that would make a perfect little gift bundle on its own. Need something to take your lunch to work in? Then why not try Simplicity 1385? So we have a choice of six styles here. Why not start with the basic style if you're a beginner and move on to a version with pockets as you progress. You can go wild with the prints, make a snack pouch with version F, choose crisp fabrics with a little bit of body. Again canvas, denim, twill, maybe add in a little faux leather. You can add embellishments and trims. Keep everything together in one place with these handy pockets. A beautiful little pattern and lots of options for returning to it and making it again in future. Again, this could be one that you make as gifts for people, Christmas and birthdays, and you can really have fun with the styling on that one. Are you wanting a children's bag? Well, Simplicity 8102 has the added bonus of a beautiful dress pattern. This cute little bag has ears and in this version it's made up as a cat. You could have fun adding the face on this one, maybe get your little one involved in the design process or to help decorate it. For the bag, something with a bit of body again, maybe a cord, a twill, a canvas. And for the dress, a poplin, a gingham, or maybe a chambray. Finally, we have a rucksack style bag. Simplicity 1388. There is a choice of styles, sizes and shapes and also a handbag pattern. Make it plain or go wild with the prints. There is a choice of zip, button or strap openings. Use a stable woven fabric for this one. A denim, a chino, a twill or a broadcloth. Suitable for walking, travel, or school. A really handy versatile rucksack. Well that's my top 10 pattern picks. I hope you've spotted one that you want to get working on straight away. Remember all the links are listed below so just click on the link if you see one that you love. Now while you're here why not take a look at the Minerva Craft Club with the Minerva Craft Club you get 10% off all your orders for a whole year and that includes anything that you buy with us today. And also why not create a free account? With a free account you can connect with like-minded sewers from all over the world, share projects, ideas and inspiration. It's a really good place to share your sewing hobby and it's all completely free. 
Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to be back with more inspiration really soon. Bye for now.